Oh, well, hello there. I was just about getting ready to enjoy a bite of a delicious pecan praline that I made a little while ago. And we're going to be doing a video on those very soon. But since you're here, I think I'm going to switch gears just a little bit and we're going to make a vanilla root beer milkshake. Because usually you use vanilla ice cream with root beer, yeah? All right. So, hmm. It is summertime and well, at least at the time I'm making this video. And I think that in the summer, root beer floats and root beer milkshakes are just something that go hand in hand. They are, oh, my videographer is saying they are a-okay. <laughs> ah, thank you, Kimber, thank you. All right, here we go. So. How about a few cups of vanilla ice cream? So if you bring your bring your ice cream out of the freezer and let it sit for just a minute or so, it will be should be pliable enough to get you some nice ice cream in there. Now this particular recipe will serve two. So easily serves two because of the amount that it makes. And there's really no way of getting around that because we're using a 12, can, 12 ounce can of root beer. So if we had a smaller amount, we probably could make a smaller portion, but Hey, one thing I like doing in the summertime as well is spending some time with my family or my friends. And so, you know, make this and invite somebody over. Maybe play a game or two or watch a game on TV if that's your thing. And share a nice root beer float. This has to be one of the easier recipes because we're just basically doing some vanilla ice cream and some root beer. Now I am going to throw in, mm, I'm going to throw in just a little bit of chai to help thicken it up a little bit. And plus I like chai. So put in a couple tablespoons of that. But if you don't have any chai on hand, don't worry about it. Not a biggie. Just add in the root beer. So it's best to if you chill your root beer, that will help. So I'm just gonna throw it in there, and yes, just like the root beer float, it will have some nice fizzing and bubbling there but that will all disappear once we once we blend it. So up on the blender she goes. Don't forget that blender cap or you'll be cleaning the ceiling. <laughs> Been there, done that. Not the most fun thing to do in the world. So make sure you put the blender cap on and then give it a whirl. Bada bing, bada boom, we're done. Okay, now, that's the thickness there. If you want it thicker, and it is, I think I could get this one a little thicker. So I could add a little more chai, maybe a little more uh, vanilla ice cream. Mmm, but <clears throat> I 
That is having a very nice flavor right there. So I think we're going to stop there and my daughter's over here saying, I would really, really, really like some. So let's pour some in a glass for her. Pour some in a glass for me. Cheers. All right. Thank you, thank you everyone for coming. I hope you enjoy your delicious root beer milkshake. And please, won't you do us a favor and hit those like and subscribe buttons for us. Also, my first cookbook is available now at www.matthewyarnell.com. So, hop over there, it's a free one and uh, pick it up and come back and see us again soon. Bye bye everyone.